Hey guys, Playcheck101 coming at you again with a uh, with another knife review. This is actually on a custom knife um, from a fantastic knife maker. Uh, his stuff is incredibly cheap, but incredibly good. Um, and I, I will be kind of advertising for him today. He's just, he's totally worth it. A really, really great guy in general and a fantastic knife maker. Um, Anyway, to begin the review, this is the knife I will be reviewing. It's a neck knife, theoretically, uh, but this is, there's no name for this. The, the design name, however, is called a Karam Claw. It's his own design. Um, no one else really does this uh, type of design. Let me just take my ring off so I can show you guys how this whole thing works. Um, I use it as a neck knife. You can actually set it up. He sends you zip ties and everything that you can put through here and just wrap around. And, uh, you know, so like for belt carry, I had it like that for a while. Um, I don't know if you can see here, but I actually had to super glue it because um, it was uh, slipping off over here. But whatever. It's also all of his knives with these holes are tech lock compatible. Uh, so if you have the mini tech lock, you know, uh, you can use it for that. Um, or wrap paracord through there or whatever you want to do. But anyway, I just have this as a neck knife uh, for right side carry, you know, for a rather right handed carry. Um, but basically this knife, the way you carry it or the way you use it is you put your middle finger through it. This divot here is for your pointer finger and the back here is for your thumb. You can also put your thumb back here if you like that, cut, that type of grip, but this one is way more comfortable and it's, um, you know, it's just, it's a nice solid feeling grip. Uh, the ring Basically, I use this knife as as an emergency self-defense tool and for EDC. Uh, the blade type on this particular knife is a Warncliffe style blade. And uh, I really like it. It's um, The tip is really nice and sharp. The thickness on this is one-eighth of an inch. Uh, more than substantial for the blade design. Uh, almost a full flat grind. Um, and... If, in case you guys haven't already noticed, uh, because of the lighting or whatever, the finish on this knife is just killer. Uh, he does all these himself. They are acid etched. They are actually hammered in to the steel. When you touch it, you can actually feel the texturing. Um, we have a, it's not really paracord, it's a, but anyway, it's a nylon wrapped handle. Okay, now guys, the guy who makes these things, his name is Jason, but he has a website called ecosknives.com e-c-o-s knives.com and he has some stuff up there right now this is uh, January 18th yeah January 18th uh, 2011 he has a couple knives up there right now on his website check him out um, he does amazing work guys actually he has a ton of these up there as of right now just different blade configurations. He actually does like a karambit style on these. He doesn't just make these guys. He makes a shitload, pardon my French, but he makes a ton of different styles of knives. And they're really, all of them are just amazing. I have a ton of his knives. Um, if you email him, it takes a while, and but I did it myself and the reward was far greater than how long I had to wait was the... Um, if you order from him, you can actually get custom orders done. And I had two knives made by him custom for myself. Uh, one of them I had a steel trainer made and an aluminum trainer made of the, uh, the same design. So I could train with them both solo for weight and, um, you know, with people. But this knife was 50 bucks. Um and well worth it. It's uh, 1095 high carbon steel. Uh, it's triple tempered. The finish and the wrap, he dips the entire knife after tempering it in a resin or in a, like a lacquer and that seals this on completely and it keeps the blade from rusting when you have a, a polish like this. Um, if you don't get the polish and you just get a regular finish, the edge will not, or the, the grinding, the ground part will not be resined. So keep that in mind, guys, because if you start fingerprinting it or if you get anything on it, I have one that I accidentally stained my blade all up 
uh, because I was dumb and I totally forgot about it. Um, I left it wet in the sheath for just a little bit and now it's stained. Uh, you know, it doesn't keep me from using the knife, but you know, it would, I wish it didn't, I wish it wasn't there. Um, all of his sheaths are ABS or Kydex. He makes them himself. And again, they are tech lock compatible. All of them are tech lock compatible. Um, he only does one sided though. I don't know if he can do the two sided, but I haven't asked him either. Uh, the knife fits in the sheath really, really nice. There is no play, um, and the knife is not coming out. Some of his knives I've had to adjust slightly just by taking a match when the knife is outside of the sheath and just barely singeing it and just kind of you know tapping it and then putting the knife in and out to cut through that but make it a little bit more secure. This knife is not like that. Um, none of his Karam Claw versions are like that, actually. They're really, really good solid lockup knives. Um, but again, this knife, I just I just wear it around my neck pretty much every day. It rides completely and totally flat. Um, there is no showing of this blade ever. Um, the only part that actually shows, if at all, is the paracord, um, which it looks just like a regular necklace or whatever. But I always carry it under my shirt, and basically, just as far as deployment goes, just find it and pop it. And it deploys pretty quick. Um, again, emergency defensive. I also wear this one at work because um, it's not a very mean looking knife. And it's. People don't think that the Warren Cliff style blades, you guys will hear me talking about this a ton in future videos. Whenever I do a review on a Warren Cliff style blade, for a little bit of reference, I love Warren Cliff style blades for so. For some, for, from, for some reference, excuse me, I'll be doing um, this review at some point. This is the discontinued Spider Co. Yojimbo. You can still find it some places online or whatever, so I'll be doing a review on this knife too. But just to give you an idea of how much I love Warren Cliff style blades, and that's why I chose this knife. Um, people don't think that, it, that it's a good EDC choice, and I have to disagree, guys. Uh, EDC with a Warren Cliff style blade. I dare you go into your, and you may have even thought about this. If you're not familiar with blades, you may have even thought about this. Um, go into your father's tool chest or your own and take out a Stanley cutting tool. Look at the blade design. It comes out just like that. That's what it is. It's a Warncliffe style blade. Um, so as far as utility stuff, this is absolutely fantastic. This one is almost a full flat grind. Uh, it's like a five eighths full flat grind, um, you know, or flat grind. It's really, really good. The sharpness of it, oh my God, when I got this knife, I have not touched this up at all, by the way. The other reason Warren Cliffs are a really, really good um, configuration are because they are so easy to sharpen. You just take it and drag it right along the sharpening stone no fuss about anything it's just it's completely and totally straight um so there's no curving or anything like that when you're doing it this knife like i said was around 50 bucks the ones he has up there right now are 65 he had to up the prices just a little bit steel's going up guys he actually is in the philippines right now um basically to keep the price of his knives down he's there with his fiance great guy nice guy um he, he's just completely and totally willing to help you out. Um, what the hell did I put my sheath on? Oh, here it is. Huh? Um, he's uh, completely and totally willing to help you out. If you have any questions about his blades, email him or myself. I can, you know, I, I know him pretty well now. He's just, he's a wicked nice guy. Um, totally, you know, 100% happy working with him for anything. I'll just, I'll drop a picture now of a knife I have in mind and I'll email it to him and you know he'll tell me what he thinks about it and I'll ask him you know what would it cost to, to have it made and his knives are so cheap guys I had a knife my custom knife made by him 75 bucks now that's a one of a kind blade professionally done and tempered the whole the whole thing and you there's not a single other knife in the world like mine uh, not a single knife that he makes does he make duplicates of. Some of them, yeah, are similar, but every single one of them, they're all handmade. He doesn't use hardly any machinery. He does. Uh, he uses a belt grinder 
for his uh, grinding, and, or a, a, a belt sander for his grinding, and that's it. Um, he's as close to handmade as you're going to get these days. He forges them out to the right thickness, all that stuff, and all the finishes are hand done. Like I said, this finish is freaking cool. Um, I think he calls this one acid rain or something, but you can see all the little veins and everything in there, I think. Let's see if I can get that close to you so you can actually see it well. So you can actually kind of see that in there. But all that is etched into the steel. And it won't rub off. I've used this knife, um, I've had it for nearly a year now. And nothing. There's no rub off, nothing. It's absolutely fantastic. Uh, fantastic design. The tip is razor sharp, as all this knives come razor sharp. Um, but like I said, guys, if you have any questions, email me, l-e-a-r-n-i-a-i-d-o at aol.com. Um, that's learniido at aol.com. Email him, that's ecosnives.com. Just um, go on his website and you can contact him from there. Or uh, you can order from him. He does, like I said, guys, fantastic work. If you have any questions about his blades, feel free to ask him or, me, or myself. Uh, again, his name is Jason. Just um, If you're going to email me, put YouTube in the subject box just so I know th uh, that it's someone from, you know, from the video. And uh, then ask me the question because I won't answer it unless I know who it is. Uh, so just put YouTube in there. And that's basically it. Um, thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. And I hope you liked the review. Keep your edges sharp.